Hey everyone, my name is Asta Chauhan. Welcome to the Tutorials Point. In the previous video, we have learnt all about the support vector machine. And in this video, we are going to discuss about the random forest. So let's see what's in for you in this video. We are, we are going to look at why random forest, what is random forest, what is decision tree, how a decision tree constructed, what are the important terms of random forest, what is the working of random forest, and what are the advantages of random forest. First is why random forest? Random forest uses multiple decision trees so it will reduce the risk of overfitting. It produces highly accurate predictions for a large data. And it can also maintain the accuracy when a big portion of the data is missing. Now, what is random forest? Before that, can you tell me what is forest? Obviously, the group of random trees is called forest, correct? Similarly, random forest is constructed using multiple decision trees. And how does we take the final decision in random forest algorithm? The final decision is obtained by the majority votes of the decision trees. Let's understand this with an example. Let's say we have these random decision trees and we provided some unknown fruit to these decision trees. Now the first decision tree is predicting that it's a strawberry. Second decision tree is predicting it's an orange. And third decision tree is predicting it is a strawberry. So we have majority votes for a strawberry. So our final decision will be the given unknown fruit is a strawberry. Now before understanding the random forest, it's important to understand the decision tree. Because the building blocks of the random forest is a decision tree. So what is decision tree? Decision tree is a tree shaped diagram which we use to determine the course of actions. And each branch of the tree is called subtree which represents a possible decision or occurrence. How are decision tree constructed? It's quite similar to our decisions that we take in our day to day life. So let's understand this with this example. We have to predict the vegetables in this group. So at the first stage, I am determining whether the color of the vegetable is red or not. If not, then it is a brinjal. And if the color of the vegetable is red, then what is the diameter of the vegetable? If the diameter is greater than 2, then it's a red capsicum. And if it's less than 2, then it's a red chili. Now let's see what are the important terms of random forest. These are the terms that are also important for decision tree. First is root node. The first node of the decision tree that represents the entire population of the data set is called the root node. Leaf nodes or the terminal nodes are the nodes that do not split further. And also, leaf nodes carries the final classification or decision. For splitting the decision tree, there are many methods like guinea entropy. And we have discussed the entropy information gain, guinea index in one of our previous videos that is decision tree. And I suggest you all to watch that video for more understanding. Next is decision node. Decision node provides a link to the leaf nodes. Now let's understand the working of the random forest with an example. We have this data set and in this we have to determine the species of the cute penguins based on some certain features. And in this case the features are island, body mass in gram, flipper length in mm. Now we have to do the random sampling with replacement for the given data set. What does this random sampling mean and what does this replacement mean? Random sampling means that we have to select some random rows and random features and make some random samples. So here we are selecting random rows and random features and making these three random samples. What does this replacement mean now? Replacement we can understand from the first random sample. Here this row is repeating. That means some rows are repeating and maybe some rows are not included. So that's what replacement means. Now after random sampling with replacement, we have to make the decision trees for every random sample. So for first random sample, this is the decision tree. In this, at the first stage, we are determining body mass of the penguin. If it is greater than 3500 or not. If not, then it's a chin strip. If the island is Torgensen, then the species is Adelie. And if the island is Bisco, then obviously the penguin is Gento. This is a decision tree for second random sample. And here at the first stage, we are determining the flipper length of the penguin. If it is greater than 190 or not. If not, then what is the island of the penguin? 
again if it is torgensen then it is an adelie species and if it is green then it's a chinstrap species and if the flipper length is greater than 190 then the species is canto similarly we draw this decision tree for the third random sample here at the first stage we are determining the body mass of the penguin if it is greater than or equals to 4000 if it is then it's a gento species if no then what is the flipper length of the penguin if the flipper length is greater than or is equals to 190 then it's a chin strap and if not then it's an adelie now we have this new input data and we have to determine the species of the penguin so we give this input to our model that has those three decision trees so first decision tree is predicting that its species is chin strep second decision tree is predicting that its species is an adelie and the third one is also predicting that it's a chin strep so we have two votes for chin strep and one vote for adelie that means the final decision of our random forest model will be that it's a chin strap. Now, what are the advantages of random forest? It has low variance. It reduces the overfitting. Normalization is not needed in random forest and it has good accuracy. So, that was it for this video. We have already discussed the supervised machine learning algorithm, KNN algorithm, decision tree, linear regression, support vector machine and random forest in this video. In the next video, we are going to discuss about Naive Base and rest all the machine learning algorithms in further videos. So stay tuned with Tutorials Point. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.